Hi, and welcome to Dart Sim. My name is Eric DeAnda, and today we're going to be going over Today we're going to be going over All right. I'm here. Hi. I'm Eric DeAnda with Dart Sim, and today we're going to be going over the unboxing and setup of the Dart Stick Complete. In the Dart Stick Complete, we have a mini Bluetooth keyboard. We have the Dart PC stick with the software pre-installed. And we have the Y cable with the case, with the ECG leads and defibrillator pads. So the first step is that you're gonna to want to get a monitor. If you don't have a monitor, you can use an HD television screen or even a projector as well, as long as it has an HDMI port. Here, I just happen to have just a plain monitor screen laying around. And on the back, you'll see that we've got two HDMI ports, which is perfect because all we need is one. So once you have your monitor screen that you're going to use or your HD television screen or projector, go ahead and get out the Dart PC stick. You'll notice that when you open it up, it'll already have the receiver for the keyboard right here. So we'll set that aside. And inside the box, we have the power cable that powers the stick. We also have the HDMI adapter. Sometimes you may have a television screen where it's difficult to access the HDMI port. And this really comes in handy because then you can just plug in the HDMI and this gives you a female end so that you don't have to worry about reaching behind a television screen or trying to access that port. So this is really helpful on those tight spaces. Then we've got the instructions inside. And that is it for the Dart PC stick itself. Here we have the wireless keyboard. Once you purchase the Dart stick, the keyboard will already be paired and ready to go out of the box. So no need to worry about connecting the receiver inside to the Dart stick. So we've already got that plugged in. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this out and ready. We'll set these items aside. We'll get out the included power cable that's needed to power the stick. Set that aside for now, as well as the packaging for the keyboard. We'll also set that aside. Got the Y cable and the case inside. So once you have your monitor or HD television screen, just make sure you have it available and plugged in, ready to go. Ours is already plugged in. So all we have to do now is just plug in the dart stick. So we'll take off the cover in here. Locate the HDMI port on your monitor, projector, or HD television screen. And here, we'll just plug it right in. And this is very helpful if you're that instructor on the go. It's very portable. And the keyboard and the dart stick can also fit in the same case. So this is great for traveling. And this is pretty much it. it is Dart Sim on the go. Okay, we don't need the included extender. We have access here to the back of this monitor. Here we've got the included power cable. 
So all we have to do now is just plug it into our power source. Once you plug it into your power source, I've got a plug down here I'm gonna plug into. You're then gonna plug in. You'll see that there's ports on, on both sides. You've got the, you got two of the USB 3.0. And then we're gonna have a power cable here that we're gonna just plug right into, right here next to the two USB ports. Make sure I have that right. Okay, so that's plugged in. There's a little power button here, just to the right of the power. And I'll turn that just a little bit there. It might be difficult to see, it might just blend right into the stick, but you'll see it. The power button right here, just to the right of the power plug. Okay, once that has power, we're gonna go ahead and power that on. Gonna press that power button. Gonna turn the monitor screen here. It will take some time for it to boot up, maybe a few seconds or so. And once it starts to boot up, it'll log in. It'll be defaulted to the Dart SIM. And then it'll load right into the home screen. Here then we can power on the keyboard. Power, power, power buttons right here up on the top. Looks like we're connected. All we gotta do is just go right over to the Dart Sim software and double tap to open that up. Then you're gonna come over here with the mouse on the keyboard, and then you're gonna maximize. You'll get a notification here that is unable to check for updates. That's okay, I don't actually have the stick connected to the internet right now. But if you had it connected to your local internet, then it would be able to check for updates. So we're gonna disregard that message today. Locate the maximize button up here. And you can see it looks very nice, full screen. Then you can go over to your ACLS. You could then choose your scenarios. You can also create your own scenarios as well. So once you've got your Dart Sim up and ready to go, then you can take out the included Y cable that comes with the defib pads and three lead ECG cable. So I'll just take everything out that's inside. You've got two pair of the pediatric pads. You've got two pair of the adult pads. And this is the Y cable. This will just plug right in the back in the extra USB port, and I'll just turn that so you guys can see. Go ahead and plug that in. And now, all I need is just a mannequin. You can use a basic life support mannequin this does not give live feedback, so it's nice. You can use any mannequin of your choice. And all you have to do is then attach whichever pads you like. 
to the wine cable. We've got adult pads here. We have pediatric pads. And here we have the three lead ECG cable. And here I can control Dart Sim remotely with the keyboard, which is very convenient. All you have to do is then just go over down here to ACLS, PALS, or NRP, whichever scenario you wanna start with first. So here we'll just tap on it. Gives you a list of different scenarios. Make sure you guys can see that better. Doesn't matter what scenario you choose, you can do any scenario of your choice. Click run. It'll say run scenario now, yes or no. If you click on yes, it'll run it right away. If you click on no, then that gives the instructor some time to give a lead in before the actual monitor starts playing. So it'll still load the scenario. So if I do that now and I choose no, if I can move my thumb fast enough here. Okay, the scenario is still loaded in there. So all I have to do is give my lead in and then just start the scenario. You just come on over here to the left and click on run scenario. And you'll see that down right over here. Once you tap on run scenario, it'll then run that scenario of your choice. If you want to generate a blood pressure, you can just tap on the N key here. And that'll generate the pressure that's already pre-programmed in that scenario. I can change the heart rate. I can change the rhythm. All I have to do is hold down on the shift key, press any number from one to 33. And maybe I want to change it to a sinus, or maybe I want to change it to VTAC. If I see that they're giving oxygen, I can hold down on the S key here and hit plus and minus to show that that student is actually giving oxygen. So holding down on the S key, plus increase, minus to decrease. So now our sats are okay. If you want to then intubate, once you see that the skill has been performed, then all you have to do is then press the W key and that'll display the first waveform, which is normal. And you can toggle through that to all the different waveforms. We've got 18 different waveforms. And then you can hold down the C and then plus or minus to give whichever CO2 value you wanna give. You can hold it down if you want to go faster or you can just do small taps to increase or decrease. If you wanna to toggle the heart rate, hold down the H key, and then the same, hitting the plus or minus on the keyboard. And you can toggle with that. To generate a blood pressure, all you have to do is hold down the B here, put in your systolic, so we'll say we'll do 98, and then the backlash key, so we'll put in the backslash, and then we'll do 7, 0, and let go of the B key once you're done. Now you have a couple choices. You can take the mouse pad and you can then move on over here to the right to the NIBP button and you can tap it that way. Or if you have a touch screen monitor, the students can then just touch right on the screen. So I'm gonna use the mouse pad or I may even just tap on the N key here from my keyboard to do that for them. And 
there is our pressure, 98 over 70. Okay, and you can synchronize cardiovert, you can give medications. I'll go more into depth. Let me silence this alarm. You guys could probably hear me better. Keep in mind, you wanna make sure that your monitor has a speaker. So if you have a monitor where it's just a standalone monitor, just make sure it has a speaker. This particular brand, I believe was purchased on Amazon. And this brand here I'll show. I'll put a link in the description on where to purchase this monitor. It wasn't very expensive. But once again, if you have your own television screen, you can just plug the dart stick right into that television and you instantly have the dart sim. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave comments. Please subscribe and like if this video was helpful. It'll help others also searching for the same content. And also please feel free to send me a text message directly if you have any questions or concerns. Be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching.